Hello everybody, my name is Tomato and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this medieval lumber mill. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright everybody, so before we get started on the tutorial, um, I'm just going to be showing you the dimensions for the build and they're going to be showing up on screen right now. Okay everybody, so what we're going to start off by doing is around the perimeter of the build, uh, we're going to be building up five blocks with a regular stone. Okay everybody, so now that the walls have been built up on all, around all the sides, we come over to the front side and take stone brick stairs and place one like this, one like this, and then one block over we can place them inverted, and then, and then below the two on the outside we can place a stone brick block, and then break out the two blocks right above them for windows. And then we can come over to this side, do the same, by taking our stone brick stairs, the two inverted for a window sill, and then breaking out a spot for the window. And then once again, we can do the same over on this back side. Okay, so now that we have done that, we can take our spruce log and on this side, place one here, here here and here and in the meantime while we're over in this area on the three orange blocks we can go up four with our spruce log and then once again coming around and going two three four and one two three four So if we come back around to the front, we can take our dark oak stairs, place one under, underneath the two uh, sp uh, spruce logs at the very end, then take a, a dark oak slab and place three in between the other two, and then take a dark oak button and we can place these on each of the logs, like so, and then we can go and do the same once again on the other two sides where we have been doing this. Okay guys, so now that we have done this on all uh, three sides, we can take our spruce logs again and then take away all around the building. Um, you just take away this top layer of stone leading up to the part on the end that protrudes. So this, this end one here, the one, so this block facing this way. And then we can take our spruce log and place them vertically um, like so, so then they connect up with these blocks here. And just on the corners, uh, we'll just go like that and then just continue like that. We could take the uh, spruce wood block, which is four spruce um, in the same way you'd make a crafting, ta crafting table and a crafting bench. Um, and then you get it so there's the same texture on this face side so then it would just look like the log had a bend in it rather than having one end of the log stick out like that but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and then what we can do is we can come up here um, and just 
Brand extend these like so. I come up to the end here. Oh, there's one off there. Just like that. And then we can come along here and then connect each of them. And then as we've been doing, we can take our dark oak button and place them on the oh, and place them on these like so. So now that we're at this point, we can take our spruce log, build up four blocks on the two ends, and then build up seven blocks in the middle. And then we can take our bricks, place two, and then an additional two on the side, and then two like this. So, and then one, two, and three, and we can do the same over here. three and then we can do the same on all four sides so before that we do that I'm just gonna take some dark oak stairs and just place them build the roof shape that will be on the four sides And once you're finished, it should look like this. So let's just go and do that on the other two sides, and then we will get to the next uh, part of the build. Okay, everybody. So now that we have um, done this part, uh, the three um, faces, what we can do now is come along to these points and build up four blocks with our spruce log. Okay, so now that we have done that, we can take our bricks and just fill this area in, um, just adding a little gap for a window on each side, on the, each of the three faces here, and then we can just fill in this part as well, and then here we'll go, same thing, just like so. And then here we can um, just fill this area in. Should a spot for a window right there. Now that we have done that, we can just extend this piece of roofing like so. And we'll also add some stairs like this. We can fill in a few bits just like so right here. And then I'm going to quickly grab just dark oak, place the button there. Um, and then we're going to be doing the section of the roof that covers over the, the part of this section uh, right here that has the little hangover bit. So what we're going to do is place a stair like that and then another stair like this and then take our slab, and go two like that and then over, one over top and then another two. Uh, three slabs like so. So this should be the shape you have. And then just like so. And you just carry this shape all the way over. Um, like so. And then you can just punch out punch out this block here and then replace it with some planks and then you can come and then fill in this section of the roof um, all the way till so it will merge with this part here. So we can just get started with that. Uh, before we do so, uh, let's just grab some bricks and place them down right here like so. Log okay. there, so then it should all be nice and flush on this side. Perfect. Um, yeah, so what we can do here now we carry along with the slab and we'll just bring this all the way 
All the way over to this side like so and then we can take our stairs and then they will merge together nicely like so and then we can just fill this section in all the, to the same point with the spruce planks. Okay, so now that we've filled in this section of the roof, we can just extend it one more block. Like so right here. So this stair will intersect just like that. And then we can just take the stairs on top like so and we can just carry them along bordering this section of the roof like so. Now bear in mind, uh, this area up there is all planks, so it is spawn. So mobs can spawn in here. So just bear in mind if you're building this in survival mode, you may want to cover it with some string uh, or uh, some dark oak pressure plates or something that mo hostile mobs can't spawn on, just so you avoid mobs spawning and then accidentally have getting attacked or it accidentally being exploded. Um, and so now that we've done this section of the roof, we can come along to all the other sides and just extend. The, oh, <laughs> almost forgot we need to fill in all the other sides with bricks. So I will do that right now and then we will fill in the roof with our dark oak stairs as you would. Okay everybody, so now that we have filled in um, the sec most of the roof, we can take uh, spruce logs and just come along like this and do the same right here. And then over top of these logs, we can take dark oak slabs and just cover them over. So now that, that is completed, we can quickly come right over here, punch out a spot for a door. We can also take our dark oak slabs and fill in um, the area between the logs right here. Alrighty, another thing we're going to do here is quickly, um, like we did the last one, we're going to speckle in uh, some stone brick and some cobblestone. Like so, and we can do that along all the faces of They're all on all the sides of the building. And then after that, we will get into a few details.
Okay, everybody, so now that we have completed uh, texturing all the walls, what we can do is now come out a few and add a few details. So let's start by adding in all the windows, and then we will take spruce trap doors and put them beside them all, as per usual. We can do that around all the sides. can also quickly, under this section, go like that, add a little entranceway. All right, everybody, so just about done this tutorial. Um, I haven't yet designed a anything for the interior, but what we can quickly do, um, add a few details that I have done um, when I was designing this. We can start by uh, one block over on the inside block of the pillars, just like so. We can take two stairs, one here, one here, and then put a slab right in the middle, and then we'll do that one more time. So two blocks over from here, one, two, in there, actually we're going to get a stone cutter, that, that, and we should replace that with the bricks, I'm going to place that right here, and what we can do quickly is just get that log in, have it, a log sticking out of little bit over the end and build that out right into the stone cutter and then we can take uh, oak planks like so and then this looks like there's a log being fed through a, um, a saw at the sawmill um, and just uh, being shaved down into planks now other thing we can do is quickly add maybe a few barrels in the corner um, like so and then maybe we can add a little makeshift desk, like so. We can have it stick over a little bit, and then yeah, this is that's really about it for um, the tutorial. Uh, you can dress up this area however you would see fit. Uh, maybe on the interior you could have some racks of logs. And, maybe like a place where you could purchase logs. I've also seen a clever use of the new um, Warped and cr Crimson um, blah, uh, the stripped Warped and cri Crimson uh, stem blocks. And I've seen people use them as like a display as if they had just been recently been painted so that is a way you can integrate these blocks into your build on the interior maybe but other than that yeah that is that is about all for the tutorial today okay so that is all for the lumber mill tutorial um if there's any suggestions you have um for things i could build in the future uh ways i could improve my builds and just other things like that please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed please leave a like and if you really really loved it please consider subscribing it really helps me out and that is all for the video, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.